Hello and welcome to a new video and the last days on board of the Mineshaft Herz, soon to be the Marella Voyager. And this will be day 6, 7 and 8. Day 6 and 7 will be days at sea and day 8 will be the arrival back in Tenerife. So here on the map you can see our approximate route that we are taking in this video and we start on day number six and that was the valentine's day so we had a few special things planned for this day we started with a beautiful breakfast at the la spezia you have to pay extra for this it will be eight euros and fifty cents that you need to pay if you want to have your breakfast here and for this money you will get a much nicer breakfast served on an etagere and also a few products are included that you usually have to pay for like fresh orange juice usually it's just a normal orange juice included and a special handmade scrambled eggs if you want to even with truffles and of course also a few more other things and everything is looking very nice so in my opinion it's actually worth the small surcharge then we tried the xbox games and after that we went to the tui bar and then it was already time for lunch then we had again in the Atlantic Classic restaurant and here you can see the food but I didn't film all of the food. I think by now you have an idea what the food on the Mindshift Herz looks like. So we continue with the afternoon and there we went back to the Tui Bar. And this is a thing that I always experience on cruise ships. Things do look nice but are not very practical. Just like these tables that you just saw. And then we went to the conference room. There was a presentation about famous ships of the 20th century. And after that there was a special Valentine's show that has been just produced for this special day. And then we spent the afternoon on the sun deck as the weather was really really nice today. And of course on a day like Valentine's Day we had also a special plan for the dinner. We went to the Surf and Turf Steakhouse. And I can already now give you a tip, and this is not only for the Mindshift Herz, this is for all ships. If there's a special day like Valentine's Day and you want to go to a special restaurant, make your reservation way ahead of the day, because we heard from other guests that there were no tables available at any of the speciality restaurants on the Valentine's Day if you wanted to book them on board. We arrived there quite early, we had a reservation at 6. And that was quite nice because the restaurant was not full yet and we also could enjoy this beautiful sunset during dinner. We started with a good bottle of wine. This is a German wine, Tohu Wabohu. And if you see this somewhere I can really recommend it. Of course we also had some very nice food. We started with Tartar and then my girlfriend had Surf and Turf fitting the name of the restaurant and I just had a regular filet steak and it was very nice, very tasty and we had a shared desert and that was it for day number six so we continue with the second day at sea, day seven and this day also started with very nice weather outside another nice breakfast at the Atlantic Classic restaurant and then we spent again some time on the sun deck watching the sea, enjoying the warm air compared to the German minus degrees. And then it was time for lunch that we again had at the Atlantic Classic. And after that we headed back out again, but now it started to become a bit windy. So when the rain started to fall somewhere in the distance, we first enjoyed the rainbow, but then the wind was bringing the rain to the ship and then we decided that we should rather go to the Schauber, one of the indoor lounges. And here you can see the small outdoor area at the Schauber. And from there you have a very nice view of the aft of the ship. And then we spent the rest of the afternoon in the Schauber playing some card games. And after that, it was time for the final dinner on board. Here you can see the menu of the last day. It was a bit more special food for this day, a bit more fine food. But it is not a gala dinner because Tui Cruises does not have any gala dinner whatsoever. There is no special dress code for this evening because Tui does not have any dress code. And that was it. After a show in the lounge, it was already Time to go sleep and then the next morning we arrived back in Santa Cruz very early in the morning. But we had our departure booked with TUI Cruises. So the 
shuttle bus to the airport and also the flight was booked through TUI cruises and that meant that we could stay quite long on the ship. Our transfer was starting at 20 past 11 so we had quite a relaxing morning with a breakfast in the Atlantic classic without needing to hurry. And after that we went to the sun deck, still enjoyed a few drinks and then at 11 it was time to say goodbye to the ship. It was the final goodbye to the Mineschefherz because this ship will stop being the Mineschefherz at the 16th of April. Then it will go to a shipyard, it will be refurbished and after that it will be the Marella Voyager. So a ship of the British cruise company Marella that is also part of the TUI company. But for me it was for sure the last time that I will see this ship as the Mineschiff Herz. Maybe I will be back if the ship is the Marella Voyager, but for sure it was the last time that I will see this beautiful ship as the Mineschiff Herz and then it was time to step in the bus and it brought us to the airport. So in my opinion it is very sad that TUI Cruises is losing the Mineschiff Herz. Of course I understand it from an economical perspective that it is not very good to have one ship in your fleet that is completely different from all the other ships but it is the last real ship of TUI Cruises. The newer ships of course are also nice, their interior is more luxurious and everything is a bit bigger and more spacious but they just feel like a five star hotel and the Mein of Hats still feels like a real ship and that's what I like about this ship and that's why I think it's sad that TUI Cruises will not have the Mein of Hats anymore but of course I will also Try to go on board of the other ships of TUI Cruises. I have been on the Mineschiff 1, but this video is only available in German. And maybe I will go to one of the other ships as well. And the cruise itself was very nice, I was very happy with it, really enjoyed it. The behavior of some of the other guests was a bit disappointing. Some of the guests were really negative and complaining about every single thing. Of course not all the guests, but there were quite a few that really enjoyed apparently to complain about the smallest things and I think that's really really sad if you spoil the holiday for others by complaining all the time about minor things. Sure there have been a few communication problems with the crew but that's not that much of a big deal and so it was a bit sad to see that so many people were complaining about the smallest things but otherwise it was a very nice and pleasant cruise I really enjoyed it and I will really miss this ship. That was it for this video and the series of the Mineschiff Herz of course we will have in the next video the flight back to Germany but this was the last video about the ship itself so I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please consider to comment like subscribe or share the video link and as always here you can see when the next video will be uploaded and also what the song is called and I hope to see you in my next video.